Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are brand new to my journey, my name is Candice and this week I am 36 weeks pregnant. So I'm going to share a pregnancy update for weeks 35 and 36. I cannot believe that I'm nine months pregnant, but I also kind of can believe that I'm nine months pregnant because it feels like I've been pregnant forever. But I am so grateful to have hit the 36 week mark. So I'm gonna share with you guys what's been going on for weeks 35 and 36. So week 35 was very challenging. Very, um, it's like I woke up on the day that I hit 35 weeks and my energy level was just like, mm, like I just needed a break after doing everything. Like getting out the bed, I was like, ooh, I need a break. <laughs> Eating breakfast, I needed a break. Like I have, seriously hit the no energy level phase in my pregnancy so week 35 was challenging i also started experiencing a lot of braxton hicks contractions i was like oh my goodness please baby bubs don't come right now <laughs> i know they're false labor contractions but i was i was a little worried in week you know last week just because um I had experienced Braxton Hicks contractions just once earlier in the pregnancy, but this time they weren't consistent, but they were a little bit more like consistent and I was like, oh my goodness. So that was week 35, um, just really tired and just experiencing those contractions. I also washed and organized all of the baby's stuff, all of her clothes, all the blankets, all the burp cloths, everything I showed you guys in the hall from the previous video. I've washed everything and I've organized it by size. It's in the drawers. Everything is ready to go. I'm so excited. I feel like that was a huge milestone. So that was something I finished last week as well. I also finished the nursery completely. Have everything hung up on the wall. I have everything where I want it to be. It just feels so peaceful in there. It has become my favorite place in the whole house. So I'm gonna be recording the nursery tour this week and it will be up in a few weeks for you guys to see. I'm just really excited to share because I picked everything in there um, and everything just has a special meaning to it. Um, I'm just really, really excited that I finally finished it just in the nick of time so you guys will be able to see her nursery in a few weeks. I also had my last acupuncture session last week and I'm pretty happy about that because acupuncture was not as relaxing as it used to be for me. I used to be able to go in there and like take a nap and I was just like chill. Now I can't get comfortable. Um, I can't breathe most of the time because I'm laying on my back even though I have pillows like behind my neck and my back. I'm not comfortable. I usually have to pee. I'm usually hungry and Bubs is usually kicking me. <laughs> so. I was like, you know what, I'm done with acupuncture. So I had my last acupuncture session, but I do believe that doing acupuncture both before and during my pregnancy really, really did help me with a lot of the symptoms. Um, I didn't experience hardly any sickness except for the first couple of weeks. I didn't have any swelling in my pregnancy. Um, just a lot of things that other women have to kind of deal with. I felt like acupuncture helped alleviate that and so I am happy that I did it, but I'm also happy that I'm done. I think that's it for week 35. Week 35 was good overall, but it was one of the more challenging weeks that I've had in my whole pregnancy. And so I'm just counting down to these last few weeks until I am ready to meet our baby. But for week 36, which is this week, things have been going a little bit better. I haven't been experiencing just a few of the Braxton Hicks contractions, but I'm also trying to learn how to rest. So it may be because I'm just doing too much that I need to just sit down and drink more water that, you know, I'm feeling those contractions. But overall, I still feel really good. Um, just taking things one day at a time. I packed my hospital bag this week and I also recorded that so that will be up for you guys to see all the things that I put in my hospital bag and I put just the bare necessities in my bag. I know sometimes when you watch the what's in my hospital bag videos, people be taking all kind of stuff with them. I'm taking exactly what I need. So, and I'm taking the things that I will need for a C-section. So that may be beneficial for some of you guys to see because there will be a little bit of a difference in some of the things that I may need for a C-section versus what other women may need. At a doctor's appointment this week, I have the GBS test, the group B strep test, 
which is um, like a bacterial infection that some women get. And so the doctor just tested to see how it should proceed. You know, should your water break or if you have a vaginal birth, if you need antibiotics. So I had that test done and I will wait for the results for that. I think that's pretty normal around like 35 to 37 weeks that they do that test. I also had my last bi-weekly doctor's appointment. And so now I'm gonna be going to the doctor every week until the C-section, which is crazy. And it'll probably make the time go by really fast because I'm going to the doctor every week now. But overall, everything has been going really, really well. I'm so happy to be at 36 weeks. I just can't even believe it. It seems like just the other day, I was announcing that I was pregnant, but it also feels like it was like a year ago. <laughs> so, but I'm just so happy to be at the 36 week mark and just have a few more weeks left until we meet our baby girl. So I think that is the end of the pregnancy update for this week. And hope you guys are subscribed to my channel. If you're not part of my little family, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any of my updates that I will be posting over the next few weeks. And of course, when um we have our baby girl you don't want to miss meeting her so thank you guys so much for all of your support i really appreciate you guys following along on my journey with me and hope you have an amazing week i'll be back next time with another video bye